Steve from Leisure Travel Vans. We're in beautiful Spruce Woods, Manitoba, and today we're looking at the brand new 2024 Unity FX. This is the Swiss Army Knife Rubik's Cube of RVs. Only 25 feet, one inch long, but it's expandable. Nice big galley area. It's got two TVs, expandable bathroom. It's got a great big Murphy bed that is almost king width. Great interior storage, great exterior storage. You're small enough to go any provincial, federal, state park in Canada and the United States. I can't wait to show you this motorhome. Come on inside, let's have a look at the 2024 FX. Welcome inside the 2024 Unity FX. Everything you could want in a two-person motorhome, two separate living areas, an expandable bathroom, a slide out that expands the motorhome out. Look how much room we have in a 25 foot, one inch motorhome. We're gonna start back here in the beautiful L lounge sofa. What a great living area it is back here. So you have two separate living areas, one up front, one in the back. Look at these beautiful colors. This is called Ultra Fabric. This is our clay color. We also have Dove and Sand. We have three different wood colors. This is White Oak. We have Rift Oak and Mocha. We also have a nice option with Bianca White Upper Cabinets, which you can order, which is a nice option. But look how much room we have back here. We've got USB-C charging cable and a USB cable charger right there. We have an inverted plug back here. We got a place right here for you putting your phone, cell phone charging, things like that. We're all multiplex, so you can run this entire motorhome off of your smartphone. So you can turn lights all the way off. You can turn lights all the way on. You can hold the button to dim the lights so you can control different areas on secondary monitor panels. We have a main monitor panel up front. Look at this big picture window here awning style windows so they open up you can be pouring rain outside you can have the windows open and have some ventilation in the motorhome we also have daytime shades you can see we've got built-in clips here so you can have the windows open and still have some ventilation we also have nighttime shades for some privacy at night and i love how this is all done in our ultra fabric material looks fantastic. LED lights built into the cabinets give us lots of lights. And look at the storage up here. Look at this beautiful European hidden hinges. And look at the beautiful curved doors. Look at this, more storage there. All done with soft close, really important. And then listen to this. Yes, beautiful. More storage up in here. Can never have enough storage. Smart TV, that's new for 2024. We have a beautiful smart TV. We can kick back, relax, watch TV here. We can also watch TV up front as well. I think you're gonna just love this space. It feels like a den at home. Stream Netflix off the smart TV as well. I could actually use this as a little bit of a day bed. That's a great idea. You know, I wanna have a little nap. Just use it as a day bed. And I really love this feature. We have a built-in computer desk. Look at this little work area back here absolutely fantastic so you can have lunch or dinner even breakfast in the morning or use it as a computer desk or you're going to absolutely love this it's also an ottoman yes it's also an ottoman so i want to sit back put my ottoman out look at that i've got a nice ottoman kick back you got entertainment area you got friends over why not kick back and relax I can also slide it up front. Look at this, bring it up front. Now it becomes a work area up front without having to bring down my main table. You can also use it as an ottoman. So if I wanna kick back and relax, use it as an ottoman up front as well. Brand new feature on all 2024 Unity models is the brand new Truma Aventa air conditioner, 13,500 BTU. It's completely quiet it's running right now it runs on 15 to 20 amp power so you can plug it in a lot of campgrounds only have 15 or 20 amp power so that's also a really big upgrade as far as rving goes you can't hear it on low mode it's absolutely very cool speaking of power up on this beautiful roof up there we have two options 200 watt or 400 watt solar panels for trickle charging our house batteries and we also have some sun power if you choose we can open up this beautiful skylight look at that beautiful view in case we have some bugs which we do we can have this across or if you're down in the super big heat but you still want some fresh air look at this 
we can do this or we can do half and half half the bugs can't come in and half the sun can't come in so i love the strength of this roof we're almost five inches thick in the center core which allows us to have ducted air conditioning through the entire motorhome this is a powerful roof built-in led lights have a look down here look at our floor our beautiful vacuum bonded floor doesn't move steel framed this is the brand new linoleum looks like tile but this is how much room i have i'm going to do my pilates right here you know what i mean like we talked about all the storage i have even more storage beautiful big storage area underneath here it goes super deep but nice deep storage and then look at this full drawer extension glides with soft clothes and hanging closet here not only do we have one hanging closet believe it or not we have two i can't wait to show you the leisure lounge area here i've got a sofa fantastic for watching tv it's now a chaise lounge how cool is that or it could be a day bed how super cool is having a day bed right here for a little nap absolutely why not i love that so now i've got a sofa i have a day bed i have a chaise lounge and i can make this into an ottoman area so we have two cushions underneath here one here one there and look at this this pulls out and i now have an ottoman for watching tv and on the other side we have a pull out ottoman as well look at that entertainment relaxing you're gonna love this my tv actually turns and swivels this is so cool so i can watch the tv that way i can watch the tv that way or i can watch the tv right here which i think is my favorite i'm just gonna kick back and relax it's time to eat i need some food let's make this from ottoman area into a dining room area very simple to do how smart is that and for additional back support on the cushion look at this this pulls up and look at this so now you got lots of strength on your back this just gonna flip up here and look at this my table pops down here and now i have dining room area so i can have dinner for two pull out this area and now i can have dinner for four how great is that and nice big i mean this is solid right i mean i think i could plank on this bad boy why not i mean seriously this is solid solid or you can use the primary base table at nighttime you want to pop some popcorn put the armrest up here kick back relax watch some tv have some popcorn you got a little secondary table right here and speaking of tables we have a great optional table right here that goes in between the driver and passenger seats why not beautiful little computer desk kick back relax have coffee maybe even have dinner for six that's correct one two three four five six we've got a party it's actually a very cool table it slides it turns so i have easy access out i want to go into the galley grab something i want to come back absolutely fantastic but now we're going to make it into a bedroom suite at night so we're going to bring out our two extensions and look at this this is absolutely fantastic bingo bango comes down and you can leave all your bedding on one little fold here how great is that you want to make sure the pillows are tucked up against the back there nighttime a full walk around bed what i mean by a walk around bed you can see i am walking around the bed i have lots of room i can go to the bathroom i can grab something out of the refrigerator i can come back into the bed area i'm not going to bother my partner next to me look at this yes 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 68 inches wide so it's a 68 inch wide bed 76 inches long i'm six foot one Look at this, I have lots of room to go to sleep. And if I'm by myself, it's even better because I can sleep this way. Hello, I have the whole bed to myself. But look at the size of this bed. Beautiful foam mattress, super comfortable. Lots of room, which is absolutely fantastic. You can leave your pillows back here when the bed is up, so you don't have to worry about that. You can actually leave your bedding on here as well when we fold it up, which we're gonna show you in a second. But I actually love this because I've got built-in backrest support, kickback, I can work on my iPad, my laptop, 
And once again, I can sit back, watch TV. I can read a book. It's super comfortable. Built-in reading lights right there. Landscape window, so awning style. I can open it up for fresh air. Look at this. Super nice. So I have lots of fresh air at night. This beautiful campground area that we are here in Spruce Woods. Look at all those beautiful trees in the background. Nighttime, I have shades for night. I don't want any light to come in, but just look how much room we have in this bed. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, once again, look at this. I mean, I'm not the smallest guy in the world. Look how much room we have. It's absolutely fantastic. Because we have a USB charging plug on that side. We have a USB-C charging plug and a USB charging plug on this side. All of our charging ports are dual USB-C and USB and an inverted plug. Plus we have our multiplexing panel. So I, once again, if I want to go to bed at night, I can turn off all the lights. Look how simple that is. Turn them all back on. Look at that. One of the great things about the Unity FX, we have two living areas. So if somebody wanted to get up early, do some work in the back or just have coffee, watch TV in the back while somebody else is sleeping. The second optional table right here. So if I wanted to get up and have my coffee here, I'm gonna use this as an ottoman. <laughs> Why not? I mean, this is great. Hard to believe you have this much living space in this size of a motorhome. If you wanna leave your bedding on the bed at night and just bring it down, pillows up tight against there. We just flip this over to there. I wanna show you how simple this bed is to move up. Anybody can do it, just release the black lever right here and look at this one finger cantilevered yes that is easy lock it in place was a day bed now we're going to make it back into a sofa living area bringing the bed back up from a bedroom area back into a sofa area and look at this our swivel tv absolutely fantastic kick back relax look at this Nice big storage area here, optional safe. This is our leisure travel van warranty manual there. And we also have our bed cover and we have our privacy shade curtain that goes around the cab area behind the driver passenger seat. So once again, the driver passenger seat become one with the motorhome. That is a nice little storage area. Storage area here, nice deep storage area. Another nice deep storage area up here. And then above the TV area, we have our entertainment system right here. here this is where if you order the optional T4 satellite dish, you'd put your receiver here. We have our plugins here for that. And then you can run it off of your TV. We also have two HD HDMI connections here if you want to plug in a DVD player or a Blu-ray player or your PlayStation and then run them off the TVs, you can do that. We've also got some coax cable connections here as well. And this is our WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi booster with 4G capability. So you can either buy an extra SIM card off your main smartphone provider, or you can buy that service from WineGuard. You get minutes that you can use that. You can be your own working personal hotspot. And we also have inverted plugs here and here. And we also have our sound bar, and that's a streaming Bluetooth if you wanna to listen to music off of one of your smartphones as well. And we have some more storage right here, some storage in behind the TV, which is absolutely fantastic. And we have a second hanging closet. You better believe it. Yes, we do. A second hanging closet. Absolutely fantastic. The floor extension. This is really, really cool. So now we're flush floor from the cab area all the way to the back of the motorhome. So you're not going to fall, trip, stumble. Look at this. Boom. Easy. Not going to hit my head. We multiplex all of our Unity models. So multiplexing allows us to control the motorhome off of our main monitor here. We also have secondary monitors throughout the motorhome. And you can run it off your smartphone as well. So if you have a smartphone, you can turn lights on and off. Very nice. Our tanks right now, we have a almost empty fresh. Gray's got a little bit black, a little bit. We've got about 30% of our propane in here. You can turn on your water pump there and turn on your awning lights. You can turn on your porch lights. As a matter of fact, you can turn on all of your lights or you can turn all of your lights off if you want or turn them all back on. Also, if you hold the light, it'll dim. See how the light's dimming? Uh, we can also set up the auto gen start. So when you order the optional propane generator, we have auto gen start that comes with it. So you can set up the auto gen start. It can run by time, as you can see here, quiet time to set the time to automatically turn off. So if it has to be off by nine o'clock, when it hits nine o'clock, boom, generator turns off. If it's uh, early morning, you can set it to come on at nine o'clock in the morning. It will never come on before that. Or you can also set it for temperature. If you've got pets in the motorhome, you can set it for the temperature in the motorhome. If it gets too hot in the motorhome, it will automatically 
automatically turn on the generator, which turns on our brand new Truma 13.5 quiet air conditioner, and it'll keep the motorhome nice and cool. So auto gen start comes standard when you order the optional generator. Right here, you can turn on your furnace, or you can turn on your air conditioner. You can also dehumidify because the new Truma air conditioner has a dehumidifying setting on it as well. You can turn on your fans, just like a residential uh, thermostat, you would set your temperature and off you go. Right above the entrance door, we have some of our secondary control panels. Number one, the optional four-point hydraulic leveling jacks. Very simple to use. You pull up your park emergency brake, push the park emergency brake back down after you've done that. That way you can swivel your chairs. You would then turn the power on, hit auto level. Boom, four-point leveling jacks automatically level. When you want to retract them, you just simply press auto retract. This is our solar panel controller. We have two options, 200 watt and 400 watt. They're a solid rigid panel. So that's all your control information right here. And then here we've got our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. Two important settings. One says Eco, one says Comfort Plus. So when it's on Eco, it does not heat the one liter of hot water. When you leave it on Comfort Plus, it keeps that one liter of hot water really hot. And we have a separate line running to each faucet you've got instant hot water immediately next we've got our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter lithium batteries standard for 24 right underneath here so when i turn this on it my batteries flip over to 120 volt power which then can run all of my electronics so only turn on the inverter when you are dry camping next we've got our lithium battery heaters so if lithium batteries do not like the cold 36, 37, 34, they start to not want to charge or give a charge, you would then turn on the heaters, which we have on all of our lithium batteries. The other thing here is our slide out mechanism right here for the slide out. You always want to be looking at the slide out, make sure there's nothing in front of the slide out when you're moving the slide out in and out. So that's our control panel above the door. Everything is right there. I love this. My shoes were all sandy and dirty, so I can move them out of the way. We've got a shoe storage area. They're not in the step well. I'm not going to fall and trip over them. Fire extinguisher. This is the battery disconnect switch that turns all the 12 volt power off in the motorhome. Here's our breaker and our fuse box right here. Another controller panel for our multiplexing, so I can turn on my outside awning and things that are around this area. Love the lid handle. All done in ultra fabric as well. We've got hooks here for your jackets. I love this screen door. It's got the built-in support. So if you've got pets, they're not gonna come flying through the screen. And at nighttime, you're gonna like this. This little privacy blind at night. Look at that, just magnets in right like that. So nobody can see into your motorhome. Time to use the galley. Let's have a look at the galley area. Gordon Ramsay would be impressed by this galley. They should have a cooking show on how to cook in your RV, right? Have a bunch of contestants. They would be using a leisure travel van because we have a nice big galley. So let's talk about some storage area. Look at this, nice, big, deep storage, right? If you can't fit a plate in it, it's not much of a storage bin now, is it? Up here for your cups, European hidden hinges, the beautiful curved doors. Ooh, lock in place, absolutely fantastic. Two burner spark ignition stove. Look at that, fires right up first time. Whew, that is hot. Make sure that this is off, completely off, before you close the glass lid. This also serves as a backsplash. That is quite unique. I really like that. Beautiful picture window on our campsite. Look at that, I can look into my campground area. Awning style windows once again. Daytime, nighttime shades, right? With the built-in holders here if I want, so I can have the windows open. They're not gonna flap all over the place. Ultra fabric valences at the top here. Beautiful, solid Corian countertops. Two different colors, concrete, Antarctica, half inch thick, right? Super strong, I love this. Big, deep, stainless steel sink. Chrome faucet, I like the accessory channel right here so you can put all your spices. Stainless steel backsplash inverted plug so if you've got a coffee maker you can plug it in there and then of course we've got our beautiful fantastic fan and look at that run it off the multiplexing system use it off your phone as well and look at that that is going to bring out all the warm air or if you're cooking all the smoke from cooking odors out of the motorhome and this has some serious power serious power that moves some serious air out of the motorhome. But let's talk about, we need some storage, right? Look down here, beautiful pot and pan storage drawer, full drawer extension glides, absolutely fantastic. Look at the size of this, full water filtration on all leisure travel vans. Look at this place here for your cutlery, very smart, but nice big storage area. And I like this place here for all your scrubbies right there, I love that. And look at this, soft clothes. 
and then look at this beautiful curved door in here easy access to your water pump right here and your truma aquago comfort plus hot water heater and look at this storage and our brand new redesigned pull-out pantry hello how great is that look at this beautiful deep bins even has our logo on it look how nice and big it is and how deep it is i'm back on the jenny craig diet is there is no snacky foods anywhere to be found i'm starving to death Ew. and just locks in place look at that so you're driving down the road you don't have to worry about it popping open we've got our convection microwave so it's not only a microwave you can also bake with it convection microwave and now that lithium batteries are standard for 2024, we invert the microwave. So if you're dry camping, turn on your inverter and you can pop some popcorn at night or warm something up in the morning without turning on your generator. Love it. Let's talk about this incredible fridge. This is the Dometic 6.7 cubic foot fridge. It's a three-way fridge, so it runs on propane power, 120 volt power and 12 volt power. I have three ways to run the fridge. That is freezing cold. Um, and you know what's great about this fridge? Because on the FX model, I'm up here. I want to grab something. Absolutely. Love it. Oh, I'm back here. I want to grab something. You know what? I'll open it the other way. Are you kidding me? I am not. Look at that. Cranberry juice because I'm on the diet. Right? Or open the freezer. Fantastic. Three-way fridge. 12 volt. 120 volt. Propane. And dual swing. Two door. Separate freezer. Separate fridge. We got this beautiful full size dressing mirror. Hey, and don't forget to check out Leisure Travel Van Store. You can buy cups and hats and clothing. Absolutely fantastic. Get some nice leisure gear and go RVing. But let's check out this incredible, expandable bathroom. Are you kidding me? How smart is that? Look at this big stand up shower. I love the skylight. I love how much room we have in the stand up shower. Or look, you can see how much room I have. I can easily turn all the way around. Shower, I'm still turning. Can you see me turning? Absolutely. A couple other really cool features. We've got kind of a flow restrictor on our shower head. So if you're dry camping, I can control the flow of the water so I don't waste any water. So that's great for dry camping. Place here for your shampoo, soaps, right? You got an LED light here. I like this. You want to drip dry your towels or your bathing suits or some clothes. You did a little bit of laundry. Why not? Right there. Nice place here for your towel. Got a handle for getting in and out of the shower. That's nice. Right there. I like this, how the door squeegees the water off the door. Comes back into the shower pan. Another mirror here for getting ready in the morning. Beautiful vanity. Solid Corian. Little stainless steel sink. Look at this right here. Full water filtration, which I mentioned a little earlier on all of our motorhomes. Place here. Put some uh, vanity stuff. And then right here, we've got a nice medicine cabinet as well. We have a place here to hang your towels. And we also have our china toilet right here. I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. I can turn the lights on or off. I can turn on my individual lights if I want. We got LED lights throughout. I also have my fan right there so I can turn on my fan and I can move all the moisture from the shower out of the motorhome. I can also close it down. And another really cool feature, you forgot you're dry camping and you forgot to turn on the main water pump. I can turn the water pump on in the bathroom. Even if I don't expand the bathroom, I still can use the bathroom. But look at this when I want to expand it out. Look how easy it is. Boom, this locks in place and I've got a completely expandable bathroom. Look how much room we have in this bathroom. Incredible. That is an ingenious bathroom in a small motorhome. The expandability of it. The Unity FX, what an incredible motorhome. Separate living area back here, pop-up computer desk, the expandable bathroom, the beautiful pull-out pantry, big galley area, picture window on the campground side. And then of course we have the second living area. Most small motorhomes don't even have one living area we have two huge living areas absolutely fantastic this is just the swiss army knife of everything so it can be a sofa day bed ottomans it can be a chaise lounge it becomes a dining room table and it becomes a great big murphy bed almost king size width it's actually fantastic two tvs in the motorhome our brand new truma quiet air conditioner which is absolutely fantastic and what powers this beautiful motorhome down the highway is the brand new power plant on the mercedes-benz sprinter chassis come on let's have a look as you can see my chair's turn and swivel and we are ready to go 
There are so many incredible features on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 3500 series cutaway chassis. Let's just start off with a couple numbers. 11,030 pound GVWR. GCWR gross combined weight rating is 15,250 pounds. We've got the brand new two-stage turbo four-cylinder engine, which is 208 horsepower. Previous generation was 188. 332 foot-pounds of torque, so more horsepower, more foot-pounds of torque, nine-speed automatic transmission. We order all of our chassis from Mercedes-Benz with as many safety features as we can, including front collision impact assist, your side wind assist, so it'll automatically break if you get some high winds, when with the lane keeping assist as well. If you go outside your lane, you'll feel it kind of break a little bit. We also have traffic sign assist, which is really cool. If you're not sure what the speed limit is in an area, it'll monitor it right there on the control center. We also have the high performance LED headlamps which are really cool and the fog lamps it's got a tension assist it'll tell you that you're getting tired pull over go have a cup of coffee and if you do a lot of driving at night it also has high beam assist so you can leave your high beams on when it senses more lights coming at you it turns the high beams off and then turn the high beams back on when you're rolling down the highway and not bothering anybody with the high beams adaptive cruise control can have different lengths of distances between the vehicle in front of you we have the new rear view mirror I can full-time watch what's behind me if you have a tow vehicle super smart that's new 10.25 inch mbux monitor panel and we also have brand new floor mats we always order the chrome grill because that just looks great we also order the wet wiper on the windshield wipers which is fabulous it keeps that windshield nice and clean it's big inside it's easy to get in and out of the motorhome right you got lots of room and they've got some great comfort features power heated seats and that's all done right here on the control panel. I love how the two Mercedes-Benz captain's chairs become part of the motorhome. They even have a leg extension for us guys with long legs or ladies with long legs. Plus we reupholster the seats in ultra fabric so they're super comfortable. And I love the fact that they've got airbags built in to the seats, airbag, 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 airbag so we have airbags keep us nice and safe when we're going down the road we have power windows this has also got electric steering it is unbelievable power brakes we also have the heated power outside mirrors tilted steering telescopic steering absolutely fantastic locks in place i love all the little map lights here right here we have the 10.25 inch mbux monitor panel and it's like an ipad so i can uh, set up phones navigation which is all voice activated hey mercedes how can i help hi mercedes you can find me the nearest campground to where i'm located i never have to take my eyes off the road when i'm driving down the road hey mercedes is going to help us out make sure that you sign up with mercedes benz for mercedes me connect you get it free for three years and you can actually have an app and start your chassis remotely and they have some other great things that they do so make sure you sign up for that i have am fm radio and sirius radio which is a subscription charge and you can also hook up different media devices to the uh, listen to your own favorite music that you want to all the info about the chassis and everything is right here engine consumption you can set it up for kilometers or miles per hour you also have a lot of that same information here so I have my current fuel consumption. It'll tell you exactly what's going on in the motorhome. You can move it over to miles per hour, kilometers, how long the chassis has been running for, fuel consumption from the start. You can check your DEF right here. And you can also check how much your particulate trap is full or not full. So everything is very convenient and it's all at your fingertips. You can have my radio information here, media information. Hey Mercedes, buy me a diesel gas station. You won't need it because we're getting 18% better fuel economy. Love it, thank you Mercedes. We have tons and tons of cup holders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 cup holders, absolutely love that. Plus you've got some charging ports here. We have a USB-C charging port here as well, two of them. We also have a wire wireless charging pad right here as well. And then you also have a 12 volt charging plug here and a 12 volt pl charging plug right here. And we also have a USB-C charging port as well. So lots of places to charge all of your electronics when you're driving down the road. Down below here, I've got a place just in case you get a warning from Mercedes that doesn't understand where the key is, put that in there, bang, you can fire it up. And with those USB-C charging ports, your Android Auto and your Apple CarPlay run right off the main monitor. And of course, right here, we have our climate control area where I can turn on my air conditioner or my heat, all digital, just move up the switches up or down. This 
this is panoramic view, right? So I can see everything. If you have a leisure travel van on order or you have one, make sure you sign up to my LTV. That is one fantastic program. All manuals, product videos. While your motorhome is being built, you can watch all the videos on how everything works in the motorhome. We also have all the interior and exterior dimensions. Plus, you can join different travelers clubs as well. We have travelers clubs that have rallies all over the place. We just did, a, I think, four or five rallies this spring. Our photo contest that we do every year, which turns into our yearly calendars. We have some great prizes for that. We even tell you what campgrounds are fantastic in different areas or secret hidden campgrounds. We have some great blogs on there. All my LTV members have live chat access to our service advisors. And once you've taken delivery of your leisure travel van, you have all of your owner's manuals for that leisure travel van, including all the serial numbers of the components as well. It's an absolute free service for all LTV owners. So make sure you sign up for my LTV. And when you own a leisure travel van, you get two years of roadside assistance through our exclusive roadside assistance benefit program, which includes technical support, roadside assistance, towing, tire assistance, emergency locksmith, emergency fluids delivery, jump starting RV, mobile mechanic, dealer locator assistance, and a concierge service. So that comes free for the first two years. What a beautiful motorhome. You're gonna love the outside. Come on, let's go look outside the motorhome. Was that not fun? Murphy bed, chaise lounge, sofa area. I mean, seriously, that is a fun motorhome. Let's start on the passenger side, which is the campground side. A couple little things if you're in a tight area here. These fold in, that makes a seven feet, 11 inches in total width. And we are 10 feet, seven inches in height. And once again, we are 25 feet, one inch in total length. So we're small and we're expandable. You can see how we integrate our insulated molded fiberglass into the chassis here. We have a fiberglass step here. We have a nice little courtesy light for getting in and out of the motorhome. The smaller the motorhome, usually the less storage that you have. Well, we're gonna make that not the thing on an FX. Look at this beautiful storage area here. Compartment door opens up, built-in strut, so it's not gonna hit you on the back of the head. We've got galvanized sheet metal compartments. We spray foam all of our compartments and all of our tanks, all of our wheel wells, so that stones and debris are not gonna damage. Makes it really quiet when you're going down the road. And you can see how the door seals in and then underneath locks in place. We have our own leisure travel van called our switchblade keys. Just press that button and that locks into place there. And then you can lock the door and it locks in place. And there you go, locked in, sealed under, very aerodynamic. Another nice option is our keyless entry remote. It runs off the main Mercedes-Benz key fob, so you can lock and unlock all the doors right off of the key fob. Nice little safety feature there, dead bolts on, nobody can get into your motorhome. Love that feature. And we've got our step down below here, so we have it on camping mode. I can turn it off of camping mode and the step automatically goes back in. Nice feature to have is when you are staying for a long period of time, you wanna have it on camping mode and that way you don't wear out your electric motor on your step. If you look up there, we've got our beautiful awning. That's a power awning, very simple to use. We have LED lights built into it. We just hit this button and boom, the awning comes out. It's gonna come out about seven feet in width and it's gonna come out about just over 12 feet in total length. So nice big awning, great on a beautiful sunny day, right? You want some privacy or you want some shade, more from the sun, absolutely fantastic. Plus it's got built-in wind sensor, which means if the wind goes crazy, automatically gusts up, automatically goes in. If it's a super windy day, leave your awning in. But this is a nice great safety feature in case the gust of wind comes, boom, awning goes back in. Another couple nice features, we've got our lit handle for getting in and out of the motorhome. We also have our screen. I really like this screen, especially if you have pets. We've got aluminum bracing so that the pets can't come through the screen. And we also have another LED patio light so that at nighttime you can sit outside and enjoy the nice outdoors. Underneath here, we've got some more storage. Look at this. 
Nice little storage area here. Once again, galvanized sheet metal spray foam, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, and it's clean power so that all of our toys that we have, computers and iPhones and things like that will be charged cleanly. For 2024, standard lithium batteries. We have 200 amp hours of lithium. We have 200 watts or 400 watts of solar that you can put on the roof that will trickle charge those house batteries. We've got lots of glass, right? On the patio side, nice big picture window in front of the galley and a nice big picture window in the back area as well. So all of our walls are vacuum pressed together. We have a great factory tour, sign up for that. And you can see how we actually manufacture the entire motorhome, how we manufacture the walls, roof, and floor is absolutely beautiful. Boxed aluminum framing, welded, two pound density polystyrene, vetrolite exterior skin, floor, box, tubular steel, vacuum bonded, two pound density foam, roof, vacuum bonded, once again, box, tubular aluminum framing, and of course, one piece fiberglass flex roof all over the roof. We make the best built motorhome, I believe in the world. This beautiful exterior skin is full body paint. We paint this white color three times. We paint the blue color two times, and then we do two coats of exterior clear coat to give it that beautiful shine. So we have eight different beautiful exterior full body paint colors. This is everybody's favorite Atlantic blue. We have shadow, silver, graphite, glacier, champagne, white suede, and Eurosport. Eight different exterior colors. You gotta check them all out. You're gonna find one that you're gonna absolutely love. But remember, full body paint. We have the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, the best hot water heater in the industry. It's standard on all Unity models and our Wonder models as well. It has two settings, Eco and Comfort Plus. When you have it on Eco, it does not heat this little one liter of hot water. When you have it on Comfort Plus, it keeps this hot water recircling pump hot. And we have lines that individually go to each hot water faucet the kitchen, the bathroom, the shower. When you turn on the hot water, you have instant hot water. As it uses up that one liter of hot water, the heat exchangers are getting hot and then you have continuous unlimited hot water when you're plugged into shore water at a campground. Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, the best hot water heater in the industry. Nice option to have. We have the Alcoa aluminum rims. Great option to have. We go with six aluminum rims. So the inners and the outers at the back, four aluminum rims at the back, inner and outer. We have the Durabrite on the outer, easy access to check your inner and outer tire pressure. And our fender skirt is all molded fiberglass. We've got our leveling jacks underneath there. Great option to have hydraulic leveling jacks. Just press a button, automatically levels the motorhome. We've got our 16,000 BTU furnace. So if you're uh, in cold weather, you turn on that propane furnace, gonna keep the motorhome nice and warm. Okay, this is a nice little option. We have our, what we call our suitcase table, our exterior table, pretty easy to use. We just uh, flip this up. If you do a lot of dry camping and you don't go to a lot of campgrounds that have a table, you can uh, just use this one. It has adjustable legs. You can see how simple it is. Just gonna hook this up right here. I really like it because if you have an electric grill, you can uh, put it on here and run it off of this 110 electrical plug right there. And if you have a propane barbecue, we can just plug it in right here to our outside barbecue quick connect. So you can sit underneath here, you can do some barbecuing and then put the awning out and have breakfast, dinner, or supper, all outside in the great outdoors. Right here, we've got a nice big storage area. You can see we've got our golf shoes and we had our golf clubs in there. We pulled them out, moved them out of the way. You can see nice big storage area here. Love that little storage area. It once again can lock it in place. Down below here, some more storage. Absolutely fantastic. Once again, galvanized sheet metal, all line, spray foam. Absolutely perfect. EPDM rubber hinge seal, lock it in place. Next over here, we've got our Optional generator, 3.6 kilowatt propane generator with auto gen start. Is that you can set it for time at a campground. Boom, come on at nine in the morning, turn off by 10. You can set it by electrical voltage. My lithium batteries got low, boom, automatically comes on, charges them back up. So auto gen start really great. 3.6 kilowatt uh, Onan generator. It'll run everything. It'll run your air conditioner and it'll run your microwave all at the same time. Pretty cool. As we start our way to the back of the motorhome, you can see our molded fiberglass rear mask. Very beautiful. This is a two-piece rear mask, so we have the molded fiberglass fully insulated as well, and the bumper separate. So if 
you happen to bump something, not that you ever would, or if somebody were to bump you, not that that would ever happen. You can just replace the bumper without having to replace the entire rear mask. LED lights for our brake lights and our backup lights, LED lights at the top. And then down here, we've got our 5,000 pound receiver hitch. A Mercedes-Benz chassis has a gross combined weight rating of 15,250 pounds. That's how much weight you can put in the motorhome and pull behind the motorhome. So if you were to load the motorhome up to the maximum GVWR, which is 11,030 pounds, that leaves you 4,220 pounds of towing capability. We've also got a seven pin connector here. If you're gonna tow a tow vehicle or a boat or a little cargo trailer, always check your weight of your motorhome and make sure that you check with Mercedes-Benz on the full maximum amount of towing. Very important to understand towing weights before you start towing. If we look up here, this is new for us. We've got a two camera system, new for 2024. So we've got a camera that runs off the main monitor on the Mercedes-Benz. We also have a camera that runs off the rear view mirror. So if you wanna watch what's behind you all the time, and you can see exactly what's going on. So that's a great feature to have, new for 2024. Okay, this is our outside service center. So this is where we run all the functions of the motorhome. Everything is all in one place. You don't have to fill the water tank up there and dump the tanks over there. And right here, we have our optional macerator pump. This is a nice little option to have. It's already connected. You can pump uphill if you had to. I really like it. You just simply press a button and uh, we would then pull our black tank first, which would then dump the black water tank. And then once that's dumped, then you would pull the gray tank and that washes the line out. In the event there's ever a problem with the macerator, we always include the three inch dump hose. So you're never gonna be stranded. You can always still dump manually. This fits onto the end right here. And there's a little nut on the end here. You wanna make sure you take that off before you put it into the three inch dump station and turn on your pump. Because if you don't do that, if you've ever seen the movie RV, you will be the next movie RV because uh, you'll have a bit of a problem. Mass reader pump, great option to have because everything's all connected. Right here is where we fill up our propane. That's done by a propane service center. So they're gonna fill up that 15 gallon propane tank. And this is our black water flush right here. We would just take this off, hook up our water water hose to here. You want to clean that black water tank two or three times a year. Next, we've got our satellite dish. So we have a great option of the WineGuard T4 satellite dish that you can have on the roof, or you can have an outside portable dish if you desire, and you would plug it in there and you could have satellite dish inside the motorhome. This is your cable connection here. So if you have a campground that has cable, you would just plug in there and then your TV's inside. So once again, macerator switch right there. You only turn that on when you're dumping your tanks. This is your propane turnoff switch. So we have a remote propane fill. 15 gallon tank so you're going to turn that on when you're using the motorhome and when you're not using the motorhome you would turn it off if you're going on ferries or you're going on uh, certain tunnels you have to make sure that the propane is off so right here is our water pump switch so this is a great little feature to have we have an outside shower hose here it is designed to give you an outside shower with hot and cold running water so you would just plug it in right like this if you're dry camping you would then turn on the water pump and then you've got hot and cold running water, which is great if you have pets, if you do some uh, fishing outside, you wanna clean the fish outside. So pretty simple to use. And you got the water pump right there. If you're plugged into shore water, you don't need to do it. It's only if you're dry camping, would you turn on that water pump. This little mechanism is kind of cool. It's designed to dump your fresh water tank. So you can put it underneath there, hook it into the little valve, turn it, and that will dump out your fresh water tank. Right here, we've got our fresh water pickup and our antifreeze pickup hose. So this is designed for winterization purposes. If you want to winterize the motorhome, you'd put this into RV antifreeze, turn your winterizing bypass valve here. You have to turn a couple valves on the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, turn on the water pump. It'll suck that antifreeze up through the lines. Or if you're dry camping, you need to add water to your freshwater tank, put this into a big jug of water, suck it up through into the freshwater tank. So that's a nice little feature to have. Here's where you fill up your freshwater. So this is kind of cool. This just pops open. And if you have your, your freshwater drinking hose, you'd run it up through here, you connect it up into here, and then you could bring water into the motorhome from shore water, or you can turn this valve and fill up your freshwater tank. And don't worry about fill, overfilling the freshwater tank. We've got an overflow valve. It'll drip onto the ground and then you'll know that your freshwater tank is full. Everything is all in one place. It's very simple to use. Once again, the beautiful curve wall. And right here, we've got our 30 amp shore power. If you're doing a uh, campground area where you've got shore power, you'd plug that in. We've also got a built-in surge protector on there. So if we have bad power, if there's bad power coming out of our connection, it won't allow the power into the motorhome to protect all of our value 
valuable electronics. Right here is our three-way fridge. And these are your vents for them. So you want to make sure that you don't block any of the vents. Landscape window. Like this is the most stealth motorhome in the world. Believe it or not, this is our slide out. It looks like the motorhome. It's going to slide out and we're going to give us more living space inside the motorhome. Our storage bins come out with the motorhome. So if I forgot to take something out now when the slide out's in, no panic. I don't have to crawl underneath the slide out. Boom, I just take it when it comes out. So you're going to love that. Bring the slide out, it runs on 12 volt power, rack and pinion. We run two motors on it. We have four tracks or rails that support the slide out on both sides. One on the top, one on the bottom, one on the top, one on the bottom. Worm gear operated, which is made just like the main motorhome. Vacuum bonded walls, roof and floor, aluminum frame walls and roof, steel frame floor. We have a three seal process. We have a wiper seal here, bead seal here, another bead seal here, squeezes tight. And as you see, when the slide out is in, it's stealth. You can't even tell the slide out. Boom, slide out comes out. And now I have all that interior living space. And as we mentioned earlier, oh, I forgot to take something out. I have to go underneath there to get it. No, because the compartments came out with the slide out. How great is that? Seriously right there and once again you can close them and lock them with the leisure key and above here this is called a slide topper awning we are in the wilderness here now there's lots of birds and droppings and leaves and things that could be on the top of the slide out box and when it would come in it would come into your home with the slide topper that prevents that from happening standard absolutely fantastic but come and look at how this is built i always tell people just count how many screws hold your slide out box together 30 32 34 36 on each side holds that together once again vacuum bonded nobody builds the house nobody builds the house like we build the house once again our integrated molded fiberglass the transition area that slides into the chassis makes it still aerodynamic makes it look beautiful of course we have our fiberglass front mask as well courtesy light for coming in and out of the motorhome absolutely fantastic i like this look at this also when you're filling your diesel you want to open it close the door that way no diesel smell goes into the motorhome so you're going to fill that up with diesel and i like this when it closes it's locked Nobody can get at your diesel. Molded integrated fiberglass step for getting in and out of the motorhome. Once again, our mirror slides in if we want it to. Obviously, we've got the optional Aco aluminum rims on the front as well. But look how beautiful that looks. Look how aerodynamic that is. Right up here, we've got a sensor for all of our safety features on the Mercedes-Benz. This has got the brand new two-liter, four-cylinder, two-stage turbo diesel engine with a nine-speed transmission, 208 horsepower, 330 to foot pounds of torque so more power more foot pounds of torque it flies thank you very much for watching the 2024 unity fx the swiss army knife of motorhomes lots of great exterior storage lots of interior storage great big bed two tvs big galley area nice big lounge area in the back expandable bathroom it's the perfect two-person code check out our website you can build and price this motorhome with the exact options eight different exterior colors three different wood colors three different interior fabric colors two different countertops you can pick all the different options also make sure you visit a local leisure travel van dealer and see one in person take it out for a test drive or come and see us at a local rv show we try to do as many shows as we can throughout Canada and the United States. The sun is setting and I think it is time to make a campfire, kick back and relax. Dean from Leisure Travel Band.